from the street. Um, so, Manchero and Penguins, the most of them, black and white, 50 centimeters high, more or less. Um, and there are some juveniles. Over there, one year, just one year, um, without black stripe on the chest. They are juveniles. One year, the other ones, two or three. And they are using the beach, only the beach. Why? To mold feathers. They are seabirds, but that's a natural process, you know. Um, so, I mean, to mold feathers, they need to do on the ground. When they are arriving in October, more or less, they are eating a lot of food. They have a lot of food around the island. Squids, anchovies, sardines, um, red crabs, small red crabs, they, they, they can eat. And uh, when they, um, they leave the sea, they start with the reproductive cycle. Reproductive cycle. Because of the couples, because of the juveniles, You think it's a family? Uh, one is there, and we have uh, two more over there. Uh, but the lookout to see that uh, spot is on the other side. And we will go to the other side to visit that spot. So, yeah. You are very close. This is time to visit. Tua over there, the brown bear flying in the beach yeah. over the penguin is a nice feather. The tua, and they do eat the tua. It's a um, what is it? It's a brown bear, it's a sea bear, um, and the yeah, bear is a, it's a main feather. Yeah. They can eat everything, you know. Fishes, birds, penguins, bird animals, everything. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have a plant goose as well, the which you already saw so, uh, over there. The name is black and white, that one. It's a plant oh, yeah. goose. No, they are herbivores, you know. So they, they eat uh, grass and, and leaves. Um, black and white, male. Brown, female. Um, they are very, very aggressive. And with the humans, of course. Yeah, because we have the Chilean, Cuba, and the Antarctic. When the people are um, embarked in Antarctica, sometimes um, they bite the fish.